Welcome back one and all to Red Dead Redemption 2. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time we tracked down a bounty, got paid, and now we're going to go see what Hosea has in store for us. So let's, let's get a move on towards that. I am really fucking tired. Uh, today's Tuesday. I just finished my work week yesterday. Monday. DGIM. Work Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Mon and Tuesdays are just days I don't really feel like doing much of anything, just because I'm tired from work. So... Oh my god, that's... This is why I don't like weapon... That's why I don't like weapon wheels. That is why I do not like weapon wheels. <coughs> They're a pain in the ass to deal with. I only carry a couple guns on me at a time anyway, just here's your main arm, here's your side arm. Just let me do that. I don't like dealing with weapon wheels. I lack precision. Hi Sadie. Okay, Mr. Jose, a man. Hi there. Hello. What, Annabelle? Oh, Mary Beth. Okay. Jose. What you got for me? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Vandalin is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. So we gotta go get cleaned up and get ready. Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. <laughs> Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. I have a bad feeling about this. This way, please, gentlemen. A senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Yeah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli? As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know. Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know. Uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. Come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. This, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> I went the wrong way. Followed the wrong stiff in a suit. Cowboys, you are alive, and you've washed the limb of all of us. 
still made this since the video. Oh, <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, yeah, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. Politics is a foul <laughs> business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. I'm oh, starting yeah, to dislike you. this guy. <laughs> and that, that is Hector Fellows. Mm. This self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such. Not in cold blood, anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. But I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people. They hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and scoop cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, <laughs> gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. It'd be really funny if one of those guys spoke Italian and started talking back at him. No, thank you. Have a lovely evening. Not one for champagne or wine in general. Hello. Gentlemen, I hope you're having a fine evening. Mister? Intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the Redskin. I did no such thing. But, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. 
It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me, Kulo? <laughs> Me. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the park. Hi there, sir. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Le Mieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do yep, you know some graphical media? bugging there. Rider? We seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, that fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Oh, he shit. shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a I bad agree. horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Keep my distance. Is there a blue shadow? Missions like these, you literally just have to keep a little bit of distance from them. No problem? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terry. Looks like this mayor doesn't like Bronte and just sees him as a tool. Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps dinging. The mayor said he would sign later. I want to beat the hell out of this guy. I bet I hope I do. Received the ledger from the desk. Mr. Le 
Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Now let's get back out to the party. Turn to Dutch at the gala. Gala? I, I'm pretty sure it would be gala. Maybe gala. I don't know. Oh, my apologies. Why on earth are you doing this? <clears throat> Find anything? I think so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think. Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find out? There's plenty of money, Moose, through here, of course. And I you think I found out how we can grab some of the big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point. Don't Emma. like cities. Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So it's what's one way next? Of putting it. Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. You better figure it I'm out, Dutch. Go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Red Dead Redemption 2 as I probably just get into more trouble than what's worse. Here we have a stranger and Trelawney. I still have this Tam photographer guy. <sighs> I'm the Dark Surf, signing off.